You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So now it's sort of the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you. Let's play episode of Endless Labyrinth of Night Roads, Chapter Two. That's right. Chapter Two is already done, so I am very interested in jumping back in. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Leaves are turning turning golden. Autumn's reaching its peak. It takes me back to the days when we would wander these tracks. Me and the person who I was ready to take on the entire world with. Now, years later, there are worlds between the two of us, the distance of which alone is a hard thing to pin down. Ooh. Damn, Alethar. Good old spot, good old you. Who are you calling old, you grumpy weasel? <laughs> so, do you need a helping hand or not? Hmm. <laughs> Using my weak leg to insult me? How long you fallen? How long, how low you fallen, wonder protege? Learn from the best. Should I take that as a compliment? Oh man, that hurt. Jesus. What's the warm cold tea? How could I refuse? Nice! Finished the first can on the way here. Then give a proper look at the flavor and grab that awful mango and mint. I definitely enjoy it more than I would. Well, happy to drink your mishaps away. Man, it's so good to see you in the flesh. It's been months. Uh, about seven, actually. Early spring. Remember when you were on vacation when I visited you in college for a couple days? Three times a year still seems to be our record when it comes to meetups. At least the last half of a decade. How's you been? How's you been? Eh, same as usual. Going with the flow and stuff like that. Hmm. We haven't messaged properly in weeks, so I decided to be the one to break the ice. I intended to message, but you know. Yeah, yeah, work and such. You're a busy fella. For someone who was so good at, ma at math back in the days, you're missing a huge part of the equation. That being, you're no less busy than I am most of the time. Ha! And this is where you're wrong. I'm done with college. Say goodbye to needless lectures and stu stupidious amounts of my parents' spending. Wait, really? How come you didn't mention it back during summer? All the paperwork and moving took a while. You were on your own, you were on your summer gig, so I didn't want to bother you. Moving? Don't tell me. You moved back into town? Yep. Like, back back. More or less. Wow. Yep. I have been, haven't been here for a bit more than a month now. Move back with your old folks? With your old folks? Nah, remember the whole switching majors thing? Dude, you switched in second year. Knowing them, it's hard to believe they haven't found out about it. What can I say? Old leash isn't as strong as a, th isn't as strong a thousand kilometers away from home. Plus, I was lucky to have my seducer of a passion being so, being, being though in a same camp, being a though in a same campus as the good old builder of walls. Where are you staying, then? There you go. Found a grippy little studio on the outskirts of the town center. Nice rent. Windows looking over the instant hawk just a few minutes just a few minutes on foot away. Getting accustomed to small town life again, smoothly, I would say. Though, I have to admit, I will miss those chicken nuggets of the college town. The sauce was amazing. Where did you get cash for all this? Eh, video editing gigs here and there. Occasionally actual photography work, or, you know, as much as I can do over here. Majority of it is just personal stuff. Heh. <laughs> Back in the days, you would just say that to me, you would grow a spine and become a photographer. I would. Gather all the teen angst you had and form the ultimate remark? Heh. <laughs> Touché. Nostalgic, isn't it? Huh? The two of us hanging out, talking about life on the same tracks we used to, we used to as teens. It really is. It's been years and the memories of school life became quite blurry, but I still remember those evenings we used to come back from school on foot. Fridays were the best ones. My father would be at work until the morning and my mother at her, bo at her book club meeting. So we would drop our things at your place and head into town. Scavenge the market for something to eat, for something neat, like this very tape. He would reluctantly wait for me to finish going over the most recent comics and manga at Instant Hawk. Hmm. I have to give some credit where it's due. You did get a... I did get a... I did get into manga, after all. I knew sooner or later you would You would have good enough taste to appreciate them. <laughs> but comics still suck. Oh, come on! 
Okay, you don't like superhero stuff, but comics are on, on, aren't only those. It's mostly those. We'll see if you change your mind in a couple years. Don't even hope. And after the similar display of your closed-mindedness, we would stay late into the night at Old Coyote's, watching over the last conquerors of Twilight Highway stopping to take a break in our, in our silent little town. I've been meaning to visit it again at some point. Thought maybe one of the drifters stopping there would be a familiar weasel face. Well, I'm still going to be in town for a couple weeks. Why not pay to visit later? Just like the old days. Ooh, transition. Hmm. God, I love the style of this. Oh, right. Forgot to turn off the off the cassette. Damn, player stuck again. Aha, eat it. Sorry to sorry to to the muse above. But everyone has their moment. Yours hasn't come yet. So, where were we? Hmm? Aww. Whoa. Dude, you alright? Yeah, just... Stumbled on a distant memory as if to say, Hey, don't start running just like that. My leg doesn't leave me with much opportunity to play catch-ups with you. I mean, it's not like I didn't intend to wait for you. Hmm. Back when they were kids. I still wonder how it even got here. A very lucky throw? Hmm, I wish I could get some of that mythical luck myself. This week was one long, never-ending burnout. Yeah, I should have waited a bit. Should have waited a bit to fake sick leave, as it seems. Old geezers are even more unbearable with exams and whatnot coming up. Oh, don't you even think to bail on me. If not for you and the twins, I would have gone insane by this point. Always my pleasure. Uh, waking up, getting on the bus. Get to the additional course my folks signed me up for. Only to wait for more than only to wait more than an hour for the main ones to start. Heh, <laughs> with each of those each of those egomaniacs drowning us in meaningless homework, forcing us to suffer not only in that prison of theirs, but also at home. I should have stopped caring about the stupidity so much earlier. The whole system is an outdated annoyance, eating up your precious youth. The world is more interconnected than it ever has been before. We have all this precious information in a well-presented forum where we can meet it where we can meet it on our own terms, not having to deal with the annoyance of some angry at life geezers. And yet we're stuck here, going through this formality of life just because it's the way it's, the way it's supposed to be. With three more years left to be burned away. Life. You, you, at least, don't have the pleasure of being constantly tested by your family. Don't forget to sign off on school activities. It'll boost your resume when finishing school. Win that poetry contest. It'll give you more credits towards that subject this year. You don't have to understand what you're talking about. The only thing that matters is the score you get from it. And so on and so on. Home feels like a brainwashing camp ever since the start of middle school. Well, at least I have a prisoner buddy like you by my side. You know what they say. Misery loves company. So, the three years you mentioned, sure you won't take the escape route by the end of this year? Not like those two years would do you any good with the straight F's you get. It's not like you'll have much to your name to, in to interest, un interest unis. I don't know. Quentin insists that unless I have a concrete plan of action right after, he won't allow for it to happen. And it's not like I can just become a proper drifter. At least not until I turn 18, even with the lucky card my genes drew. But I do have three planned qualification attempts scattered throughout the school year, so who knows? Regardless, I still have a decent amount of work to put into renovating Dad's old car before I can call it my own. Heh, <laughs> seems like our paths are set in stone. Are they, though? What, you're thinking about doing a quick 180 and what? Becoming a park ranger and live out your life among the tranquility of nature? Who knows, uh, my dad thought he would spend his life as a fisherman in, Izuru in Izuruba Bay, only to open a wood, hat a wood hatching firm by his late... Wood hatching firm by his late 20s. That you know. Who knows? My dad thought he would spend his life as a fisherman. Okay, I already did that. Okay. Wouldn't that be nice? So, if you didn't have to become an architect to please your parents, who would you be? What would you do? I... Hmm. First of all, I would try to draw something that isn't a building. You can already see your magnum opus. Stick man number three. Maybe I'll scribble down your real weasel face, huh? Okay, then. What would you do? Excuse me? Who would you be if not a drifter? 
I literally hit it. Yeah, pretty sure it's just nailed down there. Huh. Wonky. I'd prefer to take another kind of shot instead. Nice to see that legendary seducer of yours again. My beauty. I owe my entire recurring life to this thingy. Wanted almost a year for it to go on sale. They're almost here. How did you know that photography was the right thing? Ooh, excuse me. Right thing. You know, right enough to risk a good relationship with your folks? I don't know, just kind of stumbled on it. Sometimes stuff just happens, and without even realizing it, it changes everything. Though I did get some in some encouragement along the way. You did? Yeah, at first it was in my college roommate who was trying out some filming equipment. It caught my attention, and they were awesome enough to suggest that I try it. Then I remembered a peculiar feeling. I love to buy new paints. What? Well, I was intrigued with trying to draw stuff, and so once I got into college, I did just that. That's pretty. Man, this game's art is incredible. But voila! It was quite underwhelming. And it's not even like I didn't improve at it, but I just didn't enjoy it. And partially because of years of all the practice doing architecture schematics. And of course, old, younger me didn't give it much thought back back then and wrote it off as a childish, as childish interests. But when I was screwing around with my roomie's equipment, I remembered how it is to lay hands on new funky tools. These things you can experiment with. Like, yeah, perspective, lighting, composition, and so on. And so on is something I could have improved in it if I had invested more time into it. But without enjoyment, all that effort was just too tedious to feel rewarding. With photography, all that was so natural. I didn't have to spend hours rendering a texture or trying to nail down stupid hands. Stuff was already before me. It was so liberating seeing myself in the stuff I do. Well, look at me, talking about all talking all pretentious like some sort of critic announcing that art that art has kicked the bucket at the first sight of a generic pop song getting to the charts. So you won't say so upon giving a read to one more superhero comic? Now provoke me, weasel face. Finally, a place to take a break from all this walking. What? Can't even take an hour? Take an hour without heels? Oh, shut up. It's been a while since I've seen this view. How do you think... Ah! Oh, that is really good. Ah! <laughs> Voila! Oh, God. Nice catch. Are you nuts? Who knows? And wait, how did you jump with your leg in the first place? This uh, little thingy, this little thingy helps. Why didn't you say any about getting one back when I joked about it then, about it when we met? Maybe I just wanted to make you feel slightly superior to poor old crippled me. And besides, I broke it way back when I was a kiddo learning to drive a bike. It's been with me most of my life. Sometimes it's hard to say goodbye even to one's own scars. Then again, the wound is still there. And now it's just, uh, just a dope armor. So, you are old after all. Oh no, my poor old body can't withhold my own age. I'm not going to catch you. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can, it always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate tier anyway. If y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for more contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!